Hi, this is Sven from Webinee, and welcome to this quick overview of our product. I'm going to start with our headless CMS. Here we have a list of a couple of articles that are structured into folders and subfolders. This is the first thing to note with Webinee. Every content model inside our headless CMS uh, structures its content, its entries, into folders and subfolders for easier content management and organization. So let's have a look around. Here I've got a folder. Inside that folder, I've got a couple of other subfolders, and inside of that, I do have a couple of entries. Right. Um, the additional feature that folder organization enables in Webinee is the ability to control who can see which content inside a specific content model based on a folder level. So here for Netherlands, I said that my website managers can only view this content while my content editors can edit this content. This is super handy when you need to have really strict control over who can see which content within a larger organization. One other handy feature in this view are our bulk actions. So we can select multiple entries and then we can bulk publish them, unpublish them, move them to a different folder or delete them. Webinar being also very customizable means that you can remove the built-in bulk actions or you can register your own custom bulk actions as needed. When it comes to searching and filtering content, we got a simple search that searches across different keywords, as well as we have ability to filter content based on status. You can also register your own custom filters or you can build completely custom advanced filters. So we can here create a filter where we can say, hey, show me all entries that have a description of specific value and then we can add another condition that are created after a specific date and we can change the condition here to be an end or an or as well as we can add another condition group and change the conditions on that group as well this can then also be saved as needed so let's save from filter 2 we can give it a description we can apply a filter so now i can see which filter is applied i can remove it if i need to reapply a filter i can just go back and say apply that filter again all right let's now look at the content editing features so let's open a specific entry here we've got a an article so let's open this article now the editing experience in the headless cms is highly customizable here we have a custom preview panel that automatically updates as we type the content uh, in real time. We also have our content model separated into a couple of tabs for better and easier navigation. So here you can see we've got a dynamic zone, which pretty much represents the content organization on the left hand side. So if I were to say move the hero above the rich text field in this case, you would see it automatically changes on the left hand side how it looks. And again, it is updated in real time we can also load up the image gallery change the image and see an instant preview of how that looks like let's have a look at a few more customizations that we created in this view first of all if we go under the rich text let's say we want to add a link here and let's another link that we know it's actually a broken link all right let's now try to save this content you can see here we actually have a plugin, a custom plugin added to this particular view that checks all the links across all the rich text fields and ensures we haven't added a broken link. Of course, we can still override this action if needed. There's one more cool customization we created. Um, it's called the AI optimized SEO. So basically this cool little plugin sends the content of your entry to OpenAI and asks it to return an SEO title description and some meta tags for you. So let's see what comes back. There we go. So it pre-populated even the keywords and gave us a couple of example keywords based on, of course, the content that was inside our entry. I hope that these few features that I uh, demonstrated give you a sense of possibilities of what you can do with Webinar. Again, Webinar is not just a rigid system. It's actually a set of applications that are underpinned by a development framework through which you can customize pretty much every single aspect of the whole platform. Lastly, before we move on from the headless CMS and content entry experience, I want to just mention that all of the content entries inside the headless CMS are completely uh, a revision so you can always revert back to a previous version and see how the content looked like you can instantly roll back changes and so on
as well as prepare, of course, multiple drafts in parallel as needed. A few more features that are present uh, are things like content locking. So if multiple people try to edit the same content, we use webhooks to prevent such a um, such an experience so that only one person can edit uh, a specific content piece at one time, ensuring that people don't overwrite each other's changes. And of course, there's a very powerful GraphQL API in the background powering the whole experience. Lastly, I want to show you how the actual content model definition looks like for this particular article. So here we have our no code editor where we can just drag and drop fields, give a field a name, how it's going to look like, and a few other properties in terms of uh, pretty much building how the content model is going to look like. The fields that you have available here you got basically some basic fields but you have more advanced fields like references objects nested objects dynamic zones files and so on but the cool thing about webany again is that you can add your own custom fields uh, as well as you can then use those custom fields to connect to third-party systems your internal systems and get all of the data from external sources back into webany as needed Besides building the uh, content model through uh, the UI, you can also build the content model through code as well as through the API. And when you're building the content model, you can also control where certain fields are placed, in which rows and grids, so you can actually see how the end result is going to look like for the content editor. Hope you like this quick overview of Web and Headless CMS. For any questions, you can reach out to us on Slack. Thank you.